Hello friends, welcome back. Today we are going to use the Align Self property. The final property for the Flex item is the Align Self. This property allows you to adjust each item's alignment individually instead of studying them all at once. This is useful since uh, other common adjustment techniques using CSS, float, clear, or vertical align do not work on Flex items. S align Self accepts the same values as Align Items and will override any value set by Align Items property. Great. Okay, so align items will get over, um, overrided by align uh, self in CSS flexbox. So add the CSS property align self uh, to both boxes one and two, uh, and uh, give the box one a value of center and give box two a value of flex end. Hmm. So align self a value of center. Hmm. Cool. And so the blue has uh, gone from the top to the middle. These are 200 p pixel blocks and with a height of 500 pixels. Um, so that's the middle. Align self uh, flex end. Hmm. Okay, cool. So that just means that it rolled itself down to the bottom. When I say it's 500 pixels in the background, what happens if we do the background color of yellow, right? You can see that um, this box one here is um, aligned self is set to center because it's in the middle of this box. And whereas this one is, is flexed to the end. So yeah, that's basically this one. I can leave the yellow one there. I don't think that'll cause the test to not fail. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video.